All right, guys and gals, I appreciate you clicking on my video. Today we're checking out a super awesome gun. This is the Barra 400E Select Fire BB Rifle. This is actually electric, lipo battery powered, so it operates similar to an airsoft gun, except the BBs coming out of this gun are not soft. It shoots 177 caliber steel BBs, 410 feet per second, 50 round clip, semi or full auto. So this gun is amazing and there's a lot to tell you about it. So definitely stay tuned. I'm going to tell you a few things that you're going to need to know to own this rifle and maintain it as well. We'll see how to unjam it. And yes, we're going to blow a ton of stuff up. I must have shot at least 5,000 rounds in this video. For more information on this gun, you can shoot over to PyramidAir.com. It's available with or without a battery and extra magazines available as well. One thing that you probably didn't know is this gun is all metal. It is aluminum from head to toe. The only polymer things on this gun are the buttstock and the pistol grip. So very realistic weight and feel. Not to mention it's a ton of fun to shoot. Like I said, there's a lot I gotta tell you about this gun. Real quick, here's the hardcore stats. This is an automatic electric gun, which is called the AEG, full auto or semi-auto. It uses 177 caliber steel BBs, so you never wanna put copper BBs in this. They gotta be steel BBs of good quality. CNC machined aluminum handguard and receiver. Like I said, this baby's all metal. Weighs 7.5 pounds, which is exactly what the real thing weighs. Overall length of 42 inches, barrel length of 19 inches. It's the BB barrel, so it's going to be smooth bore. 50 round magazines. It's run by a battery, so you get over 1,000 shots per battery. So there's no CO2 or anything to buy, which makes this thing almost free to shoot. The rate of fire is approximately 550 rounds per minute. Perfect. It's a velocity of 410 feet per second, so it's no joke. It's got an air style pistol grip, manual safety. The optics rails are pretty awesome. It's got basically flip up iron sights, although they're one of the few things on this gun that are made of polymer. But then when you flip them down, they have fiber optic sights built into it. In addition, you can pop those babies off and you have a flat top Picatinny rail, flat top AR, so super awesome. This is a one-to-one -one scale, you guys. It's exactly the same dimensions as the real thing. Six position adjustable buttstock. By the way, your sights are adjustable for windage and elevation. It's got M-lock accessory slots all up and down the bottom of the CNC aluminum machined handguard. So you can easily mount things like flashlights, foregrips, bipods. So that's super handy. This gun's gonna come with a speed loader for your magazine, which we'll go over. And the package with the battery and charger included is going to come with a balance charger. And I'm going to show you a couple different battery chargers, as well as tell you some things you need to know about LiPo batteries and how to maintain them. There's a look at the sight picture on your fiber optic sights. I think the fiber optic sights might be set for a little farther out, maybe 30 yards. Most of this video I did around 20 yards. So at the shorter distances, I had better luck with my traditional ghost ring sights. The ghost ring sights give you a great sight picture as well. At 15, 20 yards away, as you guys will see, I was able to do nickel sized grapes, no problem. And these sights are fully adjustable too. So the bottom of the grip, inside there I spy some electronics or something. So you're probably not gonna be changing your grip out. This is a, a charger I got from my RC days. And you could pick one of these up. You basically just need a LiPo charger. It doesn't have to be fancy. Your LiPo battery only wants to have a full charge for one to three days. So don't charge this up until you're pretty sure you're going to be playing with your gun in the next three days. And this right here is your balance lead. So this is a 3S, so I plug it in like that. You plug that into your balance board, and then you're going to plug this in into your charger. This is called a Dean's End or a T-plug. And this is a three cell LiPo battery, 11.1 .1 volts. So when it gets to 11.1 .1 volts, that's when you wanna 
stop using it and when you charge it up it'll be at 12.6 volts this right here is a voltage tester you just plug it into your balance lead to see your voltage these are under 10 bucks and there will be a link in the description because if you run your lipo battery all the way dry as well then you, it'll just ruin it completely you won't even be able to charge it up so a few things you got to know the good news is there is like nothing going on with this magazine all you got to do is load it with the provided speed loader all right so at the end of your gun right here you can see there's a tab right there and a tab right there and this is actually just a cap Ooh, that's your buttstock right there it's a cap it just came right off and inside here we got the battery compartment yeah it just fits one perfectly so you're just gonna plug this in here boom don't worry about this but you can attach one of those alarms to it so the way you do that is this right here is the metal end the other side's plastic got the metal right there you take the front of this and plug it in like this okay and then so it's fully charged so it said 12.5 volts if i want this to give me an alarm i'm going to press this top button right here all right there we go so i'm going to set it for 3.4 okay that's you never want to go below 3.4 and now when this gets to 3.4 volts, then it'll go beep really loud. So you can shove that in there. But I have a feeling that the motor on this bad boy is going to shut off about 3.7. So that's what happens with a lot of RC cars is it'll just stop working when you get to 3.7 volts so you don't burn your battery out. So we'll see what happens. All right, so we got a full six position buttstock. I usually like mine about two notches out. Okay, as far as speed loaders go, this is a pretty nice one. Right here it has markings 100 all the way up to 200 so you know how many BBs you put in there. On the back of the speed loader there's a little door right there so I'm just going to flip that up. Well, that's pretty nice. Well I like that and then it's not as easy to spill your BBs. Alright like I said guys you don't want to overfill these so I actually got up to the 200 mark right there. Might be a little too much but I'm guessing it's going to work. Okay, so one of the keys right here is that this right here is made to fit all the way inside there to the point where, okay, like this. So jam that inside there before you start doing your, oh yeah, and you'll be all good. Oh yeah, it works really good. All right, you guys, so the only way that you know you got 50 rounds in here is to see where you're at on here. So we started at the 200 mark and now I'm down at the 150 mark. Gonna be 50 BBs right there. So that's the only way that you really know you got your mag loaded. Wow, that was like clockwork. <laughs> I just loaded up my other mag with about 10 plunges and it took me to exactly, as you can see right there, 100. So that's awesome. You wanted to say something, right, Hudson? Yeah, he was gonna say don't ever shoot a BB gun especially a full auto one without safety glasses because BBs, there's almost no surface that BBs aren't gonna bounce off of. So they're gonna bounce off of wood, they're gonna bounce off of metal for sure. Right back at you, huh, Bugaboo? Heck yeah! So I'm pretty sure these are mil specs, so you just get a clip and you clip those together like the pros do. And I don't have to tell a lot of you, normally with a CO2 powered full auto BB gun, or even PCP, two magazines and you're done. This gets a thousand rounds for every one of those batteries back there. So you can actually shoot 20 of these magazines, 50 round magazines before you gotta change your battery. Plus it's free. You just charge it up, plug it into the wall so you never have to buy CO2s. And what even makes it so much more awesome is that this whole thing is aluminum. You know, I thought this gun was going to be plastic or polymer or whatever, high strength polymer, but this thing's aluminum from the tip of this all the way to right here. And then the buttstock is polymer, the grip is polymer, everything else on the gun is metal. Okay, aluminum. So it's pretty awesome. All right, I'm all set up here. Got a full battery. We're going to test out the accuracy with the open fiber optic sights. We're at a very special 14 yards away. Going for 15 close enough. Once again, checking out these fiber optic sights. It sucks all the light into tube. 
and then spits it out the end. So you get a bright green dot in the front. You got this U-shaped coil doing the same thing, absorbing all that light and spitting it out at the very end right there. So you got a great sight picture on this thing. Yep, you just line up those three dots right there. That's the front sight you see in the middle right there. And a can seen right there would not stand a chance. So I'm gonna do some open sight shooting real quick on semi-auto right there. I got my safety glasses on, which I just, I wear these around all day, even if I'm not shooting. So this is the first shot I've ever taken with this gun. There we go. Wow, duplicate. All right, now I'm using my ghost ring sights right here. So let's see if that's any better. That's hitting the paper, I think. Oh yeah, like you guys can't even see on the camera, but that's actually just a little bigger than a quarter. That's like a 50 cent piece right there. Oh, I can see right where it's going. <laughs> awesome. So, yeah, I definitely want to go this way. Oh, yeah, it's freaking lighting it up, you guys. This is open sights, you guys, 15 yards away. That's when I started going, right there. So I can actually come uh, back the other way a couple couple clicks. All right, I got a poker chip right there. That's a small size tin, of course a can. We got a thicker can with a JSB. So anyway, I'm gonna see if I can hit these targets with open sights 15 yards away. Wow, this thing took some rounds. Whoa, that's crazy. Oh, that was awesome. All right, we caught a few of them. And that's what the front of the can looks like. All right, look at that. We lit that sucker up. So, shredded can right there. That's crazy that it didn't fall off. Okay, so that was way more awesome than I thought it was gonna be, especially with the open sights. And one of the things that I really liked is that I could see like a rope of BB fire, which is similar to when I shoot airsoft. Very awesome. All right, a UTG Buckbuster would be a more appropriate scope for this size of a gun. But I'm going to go ahead and put my Helix on here. My Helix actually ends up hitting both sights. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to go ahead and take these both off. It's real simple. It's just a 3 millimeter Allen key, just like your scope rings. There is the flat top AR going on. All right, indistinguishable from the real thing, pretty much. I am loaded up with 100 rounds. I'm ready to dispense some justice. Accuracy testing, 16 yards. Me likey. Far. All right. Smurfic. Oh, that went flying.
Look at that dude hiding back there. That was awesome. All right, I must have 30 rounds now. They look like they're going somewhere else, but they're going right where I'm aiming. Oh, that's sweet. I'm just looking through the camera right now. Pretty cool. So check this out. So if this was a shootout the star game, I would have just won a teddy bear, obviously. That was awesome though. Semi-auto. <laughs> that was awesome. Blew that apart. Wow, direct hit, you guys. This is easy. Whoa, I shot that one-handed. Wow. Okay, so in the event that you get a jam, you're gonna put that on safe. Once this is apart, you never wanna fire it. And then both of these pins are removable, but the only one you have to take out is this one right here. So just give it a little push right there. So you just poke this through with like a pin or something. You can grab this out. And then once you do that, this whole piece is gonna slide right out, forward. And then right here, just zoom in on it. You just pull this out. And there's a little O-ring. And that's what keeps it in there. All right, now we have this thing right here. So this is what sticks in the bottom of the mag well. So every once in a while, you'll get a couple BBs stuck in there. Or you might get a BB stuck in here. So you'll look down there and you'll see a little BB what you do is take something long and pokey like this, being careful not to stab, you know, wreck the inside of your barrel, but you just go like this, pop, pop, and as you pop those BBs out, the BBs that in, in here will feed up. And when I had a jam, I had three BBs in there, pop, 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 they were out. So I'm gonna put my O-ring about right there. And then with the spring facing upward, Slide that baby in there. So you can actually see in the mag well when you're doing this, but you just, boom. All right, that's back together and you're on jam. 20 yards away at 20 yards I was sighting in and I was hitting the corner of this box right here Shoot with one hand. There we go. We're doing it to it. All right, I had 
adjusted the color a little on my camera, but anyway. I actually ended up having three magazines for this gun. And that worked out perfectly. Load up 150 rounds and go for it. <laughs> I didn't realize that this guy's made out of some sort of hardwood, so even after 600 shots, he was not going down. Almost. Like I said before, don't put copper BBs in this gun. Something that is so cool about this now, I had about this many BBs in here and I went through that pretty fast. But look at this. Oh my, this is like five pounds of BBs. 6,000, this cost me $9.97, all right? 6,000 shots. My battery is free to charge. So that means I can shoot all these BBs this many shots for $10, all right? So show me any gun on earth that you can shoot 6,000 rounds for $10, okay? That alone is a reason to buy this gun. So if you don't wanna spend all the money to get a balanced charger like this, and this is gonna discharge your battery and do some fancy stuff, but it's not completely necessary, this is what a cheap LiPo charger looks like, and you're gonna need a three cell LiPo charger so this right here may cost you like, I don't know, $15. And the way you do this is you just take the balance lead and plug it in right there like that. And this will charge your battery up, but this is gonna take about six hours, whereas the big charger will take about 45 minutes. These guys are maybe one inch tall. Let's see what we can do. All right, I'm gonna start strafing high and see if I can Lucky dog. Everybody turned out to be okay, except for the alligator lost his head. But fortunately, lizards can grow new heads back, so he'll be fine. This might be kind of interesting. Let's light up this pile of empty cans on the ground. Like eating a hole right through the middle of the pile. Boy, that never gets old. There's a bunch of very unlucky soda cans that I set up about 20 yards away. I was gonna drink this entire 36 pack with my lunch, but I decided it'd be more healthy to shoot them. These guys have no chance. <laughs> These guys have no chance. All right, you guys, we've got a super long row of these guys. Let's see if I can get them all with one clip. I already am pretty sure I can't. I like to go.
go this way. And here's a bunch of empty cans. I thought these would really go flying, but most of the BBs went right through. Big full cans were a little more fun. Got to aim for the bottom. <laughs> Certainly fun. All right, guys and girls, that's it for me on this one. I appreciate y'all tuning in. We'll be back at you next week with another new release. There'll be a link in the description if you want to grab this bad boy. All right, you guys, I do have just one last thing. All right, that's enough of that. All right, happy shooting. We'll see you on the next one.